Hello, welcome back. Thanks for joining me. Spring is just around the corner and I wanted to pick up a couple of brand new 2024 fragrance releases that I thought might be pretty good for the spring. In this video, I'm unboxing and sharing my first impressions on Hermes H24 Herb Vive and Narcisco Rodriguez Vetiver Musk. So let's see if they're worth checking out. I don't really need any more spring fragrances. I've got plenty of good ones, but I feel it's my duty to buy the new releases and let you know what I think. So you've got an idea of whether it's something you might want to smell if you're considering buying a new fragrance for this spring season. So what are fragrances that are appropriate for spring and why would you only want to wear a fragrance in the spring? Well, you don't have to only wear it in spring. You can wear it all year round, but these ones in particular vibe with the feelings of spring, with the freshness, with the green things that are growing, with things that are blooming and flowering and sometimes it's nice to wear a fragrance that really just resonates with the season. I thought the two fragrances I'm about to smell would fit that bill so let's start with the Hermes which is H24. I think H24 the original EDT split people it was a little bit divisive some thought it was the next best thing that Hermes had released and other people thought it was yeah, just nothing special. Nice, fresh, clean laundry type of vibe, really easy to wear, I enjoyed it. I don't own the EDP, I have smelled it, I thought it was pretty similar to the EDT so I didn't bother picking it up, but this one seems to be a little bit different, Herb Vive. Interesting name, sounds French, pretty sure it is French since Hermes is a French brand. Now I know that herbs or herb probably means herbs, so I'm guessing there's some herbal things in this, but what does Vives mean? So let's just, let's look up Vives just so we know what sort of thing we're expecting with this fragrance. What does Vives mean in English? Collins Dictionary says in American English that it is a veterinary science term which means inflammation and swelling of the submaxillary gland in horses. Um, I'm hoping we're not going to get any swelling submaxillary gland accords. Must mean something else. Let's just double check that. Long live, as in long live the king. Uh, or lively. Lively. Okay, lively. Lively herbs. I think we're going to get some lively herbs. That works for me. That, that seems like it's going to be good for spring. Greenish box. Very spring appropriate. Like the texture. And it's a green bottle. Is that a green juice? No, I think that is clear juice in a green tinted glass. Let's give it a spray, see what's going on, see whether it's a fragrance you might want to look into for those spring vibes. Green, watery, fruity, definitely got that really nice clean laundry H24 DNA in there. Like a herbal medley, maybe some sage, myrtle, coriander, that type of smell. Hmm, it's H24 some green herbal notes. It is pretty lively. I think this is very spring appropriate. Seems to have good depth to it. This isn't just a thin, light, airy fragrance. It does have an airiness and a freshness, but there is some really pleasant depth to this, which makes me think that it would last quite long. I feel like this would have pretty decent longevity. It just seems like it's got stuff in the base that's just giving it a little bit of firepower. It ain't changing the world. Definitely not a game changer, but it's nice, it's pleasant. I don't think that anything that smells like this is out there. Things are very similar to this, but we've got that H24 smell in there with the greenness, with the herbal notes, wateriness, a little bit aquatic. I like it. Just checking the notes on this one, and there are herbal notes in the top, some pear, which accounts for the fruitiness, and in the base, fizz cool, which seems to be a molecule that is trademarked by whichever company created this fragrance. Fizz cool. What's fizz cool? And what's it doing? Apparently, it is a unique cooling agent which brings freshness, high performing, long lasting freshness without a mint or bitter smell. It's got this long lasting freshness which is the fizz cool. So, whatever I was saying was providing the, this. Uh, this strong, robust base, which I felt would give it decent performance, must be the Fizz Cool. Let's get Fizz Cool. There you go, a little bit of Fizz Cool education. That's H24 Herb Vive with its Fizz Cool. I'm going to open the Narcisco Rodriguez and, and maybe come back to the H24 and compare it. If you love fragrance as much as I do, head over to my online store, luxparfum.co.uk. You'll find my favourite brands plus brands you can't find anywhere else in the UK. Link is in the description. Let's rip into this box. Free 
wash bag. Love a good wash bag. I've only got 10. I've got three with fragrances, but I burn through them pretty quick. So good to have another one. Thank you, Nancy Scott Rodriguez. Actually quite a nice little quality one. That seems pretty robust. Oh yeah, look at that. That's going on eBay. Vetiver Musk. I've got a hunch that this one's gonna be quite vetiver-like and, and musky. That's my uh, expert YouTuber opinion on this one. So let's get it sprayed and see if this nose is as good as I think it is. Let's just talk about Narcisco Rodriguez as a brand. Comparatively, I find their fragrances seem to be pretty well priced, affordable, certainly not some of the most expensive designer fragrances out there. I only own one other one, which is, hang on, forgot, for him. That was a hard name to forget. Let's see if Vetiver Musk is a fragrance that you might want to consider picking up for a spring smell. And as I said, these fragrances that are green all year round, versatility, you don't just only have to wear these for spring. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting some vetiver. And in the base, I believe there's, I believe there's some musk in here. And I'm not sure, but maybe ginger. There's something spicy in this, like sweet, spicy. It smells gingery to me. It's got that freshness, a little bit of zinginess and some earthiness, like a soily earthiness, which I like. It's not very strong, it's not dominant, it's just sitting there in the background. Ooh, this is nice. This, I think, is the one that I prefer. Let me just keep smelling this a little bit more and then I'll test it against H24, but I'm loving this. This is classy, this is really classy. And I would say probably not quite as generic as H24. Guys, this is classy, sexy stuff. I think, I think this is the one. That bold earthiness, I am loving that. That's what I really enjoy about one of my all-time favorite fragrances, Amouage's Reflection 45. Similar to Reflection Man, but it puts this, this almost dank earthiness in the base, which juxtaposes the, the sweet floral powdery notes in Reflection 45. And the same thing is happening in this. You've got the contrast between this earthiness, this, this damp earthiness, and then the lighter, brighter notes, the, the spices. Again, this feels like it's got some strength to it. I think this will have decent performance. Obviously, I'm not gonna be able to test that in this video, just the first impressions, but I feel like my hunch is this isn't just gonna fade away anytime soon. I think this will do a pretty good job. I think it's gonna have probably average to good longevity. In fact, I think that's probably gonna be the case for both of these fragrances. The spring greenness is there. In fact, it's sort of a prickly, spiky green smell, but blending in nicely. Again, it's not a dominant note. Everything in this scent seems to just really nicely blend. All the notes just seem to blend really well into one another. There's something different about this. It's not a massive game changer. It's not reinventing the wheel, but it does smell different to most of the fragrances in this category. There's something in it that's sticking out to me that I haven't smelled before. Let's, let's check the notes. Cypress, cardamom, nutmeg, musk, bourbon, geranium, lavender, red algae, frankincense. Yes, incensey. Yes, the incense is great in this. Vetiver, patchouli, and cedar. Red algae, a marine aquatic leatheriness, apparently. It's the first time I've smelled red algae in a fragrance, but I would say that this is a fantastic execution of red algae. So yeah, maybe it is that red algae that's bringing something very different to this fragrance. So parts of it are familiar and then other parts of it are different. And that's a nice combination. We don't necessarily want to wear something that is too complex, too different, too challenging. We want something that is relatively easy to wear, a little bit of a crowd pleaser. And this is an easy wear. They're both very easy to wear fragrances. Slight differences in both have got the liveliness of the, the fizz cool in H24. This marine leatheriness coming from the, the red algae in Vetiver Musk. Both of them have, have USPs. They've got good things going for them. If you are a discerning fragrance wearer, maybe you've got a few niche fragrances and you're looking for a a designer, easy to wear spring fragrance, then the added complexity of the Narcisco Rodriguez Vetiver Musk might be the one for you. If you want a fragrance that is just a spritz and go, and you only have a few designer fragrances, you don't want anything overly complex, maybe the H24 could be the option 
for you to go for. I actually enjoy both of these fragrances. If I was to only pick one, it would be a really tough choice, but I would have to go with Vetiver Musk just because it stimulated me just that little bit more because it's got something different going on. It's just a little bit less familiar and less generic than H24, which I still really enjoy, but this one is just interesting me that little bit more. This one, a little bit more classy, sophisticated, maybe a little more formal, maybe going into evening wear. Herb Vive is an easy, easy reach, dumb reach, daytime wear fragrance. That's the difference between these two. Slightly more crisp, classy, sophisticated, just grab and go, easy to wear, crowd pleasing, nice green spring fragrance. Right, that's it for these. I will probably come back to these further down the line, maybe in a spring fragrances video, let you know what I think about them. I enjoy them both. I think I will definitely be wearing these plenty during the spring season. So stay tuned for a video where I'm talking about my favorite spring fragrances for 2024. If you wanna see that video, don't forget to subscribe so you get that notification on your feed. If you thought this video was, was, was fun, was of value in any way, was interesting, just, Whatever you thought, give it a like. It really helps. If you do all that, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.